Hey, Beeps Move It here with another Friday, thinky, vloggy type situation. Um, yeah, I know nobody watches these, but you know, I figured about might as well start making them again. So, <laughs> a filmmaker's work is never done, is it really? It's all practice. Um, I am, I've driven from Nottingham up to um, Ashfield Health Village, just to the north of the city, and uh, about to have my second COVID jab. I'd say I'm nervous, I'm not, because I used to work with needles all the time in a previous career, so uh, whatever. But uh, although my wife had her second one here last week, and uh, said the person who did it, it really hurt their arm, so <laughs> I'll just make sure mine's, mine's relaxed this time. But yeah, um, get that done. Have a little walk around Kirk because there's a lot of charity shops and things here and I tend to find things for props and stuff. And uh, there's actually a building where you can see the fence right there. Um, looks abandoned. So I'm gonna have a walk around there and see if there are any for sale signs. Because Operation Fezcam is still going. We're still looking for a site and we've our preferred site we'll find out if we if we're through on monday it's thursday as i record this but of course just in case we don't get get through to the final three um and frankly if we get through to final three and then pick someone else who's got uh, you know a lot more money than us because we're, we're a charity um we need to keep looking so you do get more you know the further you out from the city you travel you do get a lot more for your book a lot more bang for your book but um it comes, you know, it's a yin yang thing. So it comes at the cost like Kirkby itself. It's, it's not a right little town, uh, but it's it's not as easily accessible. So Kirkby's not bad for people who drive because it's right on Junction 27 of the M1, which is just a, literally at five minutes that way. Um, but, and there is a train station, but it's something called the Robin Hood line, which is a, a, a train that goes between Worksop and Nottingham and only once an hour. So, you, so people coming from other cities will have to go to Nottingham from, so for example if you're Sheffield you'd have to go from Sheffield to Worksop, Worksop to Kirkby or you'd have to go to Sheffield to Nottingham back up to Kirkby it's, it's really it's, it's kind of one of these branch line things it's random but you know we'll keep looking um, I've had a few tips some other um, abandoned buildings around here as well so I'm going to try and find them for a start um, I think there's one in, in a place called Clay Cross, which is just off the M Junction 27 on the other side of the junction, I want to say. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, a few places like that. There's a there's a wonderful shop here. Shout out, uh, Kirkby Sales and Exchange. Um, I can't remember the owner's name. I know them. I've, I've known them for a couple of years now. And she's brilliant. She's brilliant customer service. And she, she sells games and camera lenses and, you know, second-hand tablets. And, you know, it's that kind of shop. But um, she also has a, a retro toys, retro gaming um, section around the back. Um, and she's had pinball tables in there before. She's had arcade machines. She's got arcade machines that are free to play. Um, she's, she has, like, G1 Transformers that she sells at an actual a reasonable cost. Not not at, oh, it's retro, so therefore mark it up. She actually sells it, you know, just below the market value so you know it's, she's she's awesome so yeah check her out she, she has a Kirby sales exchange on Facebook um, check them out they tend to put a lot of things on there you know for auction and things so check them out especially if you're into Transformers and sort of you know 1980s toys and stuff she, it, she's brilliant I'm gonna go and pay her a visit as well um, so yeah I guess I'll bring you along and uh, I'll show you how the day's going Worn out, damn it. Thanks, guys. Yeah, good to see those guys again and uh, have a game on the arcade machines. And good to see that even post lockdown, they're still going. It's brilliant. I bought a backpack that's shaped like a uh, NES controller because I'm a massive nerd. Anyway, that'd be good for. Um, when we're doing like overnighters on set and things, you know, just just a bag to put a load of clothes in and a load of filming gear in. 
where you know especially when the cameras are already on set you know what i mean so good um right now i need to find this other factory i've figured out where it is in terms of you have to go like right arse over tick to get to it but um i'm gonna see if there's any for sale signs there well this is it um it's definitely empty it looks like we've got some planning permission stuff here so uh, i guess i need to email those guys and find out what's going on right back to the studio Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Wash your f***ing hands! I like to move it, move it, fit, fit.